Yo, what is good everyone? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. You guys read the title, so I shouldn't even need to say it, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make money solo in GTA 5 Online. We have a new DLC coming out here very soon. I'm very stoked for it. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys are super ready for this DLC. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys have been grinding every single day for this new DLC. Now I'm going to leave my cash app down below in the description, that's where you guys can donate. But anyway you guys, let's go ahead and get right into this video, I don't want to waste any more of your time, you clicked on my video, you want to make money, and that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you guys here in this video. So anyway, if you go to your phone, you might just get a text or something like that, that lets you know you can do bounty hunting missions in GTA 5 online. I recommend checking these out, they're pretty fun, you can do them in any session you want. So right here on the map, as you can see, they give me the location. They don't give me his actual like spot where he's actually at, but they do show where he is in the area. And all you want to do is search for him and take him out. Now I got 5k for doing this. It's a lot better than robbing a store, honestly, and they're pretty fun. Check them out, you guys. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, you guys, for the next one, you want to go to Maze Bank Foreclosure and you want to buy a nightclub. Now, I recommend buying the cheapest one because location really just doesn't matter. Now, location will help you if you are making a sale, but I recommend going with the cheapest one for 1 million. That way, you guys can save money for the new DLC. Now, if you guys don't have a terabyte in GTA 5 online, what are you even doing? All you want to do is go to Worst Stock Catch and Carry and buy a terabyte. But I've already did this in my last video, so I will leave that in my description. And yeah, you just want to go to the computer. You want to be a CEO, of course, or an MC president. And yeah, you just go to the computer and you basically just want to start doing the client jobs. Now, one thing I didn't mention earlier was the fact that you do need a nightclub to store the terabyte. So yeah, it's like having a MOC for the bunker. You do need the bunker to store the MOC. But yeah, I recommend checking out these missions, you guys. They're pretty dope. They're pretty fun. They're pretty fast to do. And you can do them solo in an invite only session if you guys don't have a terabyte or a nightclub just literally ask a friend so anyway the next money making method is pretty basic honestly a lot of people just use this method in their video to hit that eight minute mark i'm gonna do the same thing for this video honestly but yeah i recommend spinning the lucky wheel you can win a free vehicle you can win clothing cash chips rp etc I don't recommend buying this vehicle, it's pretty garbage, it's the podium vehicle this week, I have no idea why Rockstar added that, it's not worth your money, but if you can win it for free, then yeah, but buying it, no. Now it looks cool, it can hold a lot of people, but it has no armor, it takes one rocket, and yeah, it's slow too, it, it, it's not very fast. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and spin the lucky wheel. And I only get clothing right here, which is kind of, you know, dumb. But if you guys can actually close your game out right away, you guys can retry at spinning the lucky wheel. I don't know if that still works or not, but it's, I mean, it's worth a shot, right? Let me know down below in the comment section if that does still work. I barely ever did it back then. I don't even do it now. So the next one is something everybody can do, honestly. You can make like 500k just grinding this out. I recommend checking out the triple money and RP bunker missions, well, adversary modes you can be doing in GTA 5 online. They're pretty fun, but do I really do them anymore myself? Not really. I usually just do the KO Preco heist or the Diamond Casino heist or whatever. But if you are a new player, this is where it's at, honestly. If you're going to be doing any of those, I recommend the Juggernaut one. All you have to do if you are the Juggernaut, you want to take out the other Juggernaut and then you basically win the round. So I got 30k for doing all the rounds and winning the whole entire thing, which we only won two of the three rounds, which that's basically what it is. It's like three rounds and we won two of them. So yeah, we, I got 30k for it. It's not that great of money, but it's something you can do if you want to make up to 500k but it's going to take a while trust me you'll be doing it for at least a few hours to even make that kind of money so another way to make money that everybody can do in gta 5 online is just doing the missions i recommend doing every single one if you are bored and if you are going to be doing every single one stay in the mission for at least 15 minutes that way you guys can get way more money in rp just from completing the mission 
So I'm going to be doing the mission called War in Pieces, and if you do these missions, I recommend having a bulletproof vehicle, and the cheapest one you can get is the standard version of the Chroma. So that one is now bulletproof, so I recommend buying that one. So all I have to do is steal the package and turn that into Gerald. Now if you guys are wondering what vehicle I am using right here in the video, it is the Menacer. I recommend buying it, it's super cool looking. You have a gun on top and you also have guns in the front of the vehicle. So yeah, it's pretty dope. Now, once you are finally done with the mission, I recommend just rubber banding your controller, staying in the mission for 15 minutes, and then turning in that package. And yeah, that works out extremely well if you are wanting to make even more money from doing these simple missions. So anyway, for the next one, I'm going to be doing some of the VIP work. I recommend checking out these easy missions, honestly. Uh, you basically have to be a CEO, which you just buy an office, and the cheapest one is $1 million. So I recommend doing so. If you want to make some good money, you can do a lot with the office. Trust me. So the mission I'm doing is Hostile Takeover, and all you have to do is go get a package. That's pretty much about it. Very, very easy and you just take that package and turn it in. Now, I recommend grinding out every single mission. Honestly, you can make really good money doing the VIP work. But anyway, that is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If so, leave a like on the video, share the video, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications. That way you guys don't miss any Daily Dope GTA 5 online content. Be sure to check out my cash app down below in my description if you guys do want to donate to the channel. Now I upload daily GTA 5 content and honestly if you guys want to learn how to make really good money in GTA 5 online I recommend following me in my channel that way you guys can learn how to make even more money especially with a new DLC coming out here very soon. But anyway you guys god bless and see you in the next video.